Welcome back to Awful Movie Reviews, the beast of Yucca Flats. Yes, yuck indeed. Whenever there's a conversation about the worst movies ever made, this one always comes up. And how could it not? It's pure dog feces. It's not just an awful movie. This is the definition of awful. You want to check up what awful means in the dictionary? It'll give you a picture of the beast of Yucca Flats. Yeah, that's just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. No! And just when you thought that things couldn't get any worse, it was directed by Coleman Francis. For those who don't remember him, he was the guy behind the awful Red Zone Cuba, which I formerly reviewed, and you should go check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on another review. Here in this movie, we get our favorite actor Tor Johnson, who plays a Soviet scientist on the run from KGB agents, because he's got some sort of top secret file inside his briefcase, which is never mentioned again for the rest of the pick. Good thing that Tor runs for his life! But then finds himself right in the middle of a nuclear missile range and gets absolutely nuked and turned into a savage killer who goes on a bloody rampage, killing everyone in sight. That's what the movie should have been about, but here, as with all of Coleman Francis's movies, there's this really surreal tone here where we get absolutely no idea what's going on. We get people walking, driving, walking, driving, walking, and more driving. I swear that this can't be a Coleman Francis movie without the American desert, people flying a small plane, and driving cars for like half of the flick. I guess that that was just his thing. We get the beast which kills a woman and then brings her back to this cave. The sheriffs find her and explicitly say that she's still breathing. Hey, she's still breathing. So they pick her up to bring her back to the car and then... And Joe, here, feel her pulse. Well, doctors can't help her. What? Did she just die in his arms? She was alive about a minute ago. And so they just leave her dead body out in the wild, and that's it. Or take this scene, there's a father who goes around looking for his two lost young boys, but he's mistaken for the beast, and now the sheriffs are shooting at him, and he's gone right down. But after receiving several bullets, he just gets back up like if nothing happened, gets back to the car, and then just abandons his wife in the middle of nowhere. I mean, what am I watching? And I may just give Coleman Francis a trophy for the laziest director ever. Why? Well, because he's the one who decided to not synchronize the recorded dialogue during post-production. Instead, whenever someone speaks, they're either hiding their mouths or hiding their entire face. And the recorded dialogue sounds absolutely terrible. I mean, just listen to this. It's horrendous. Mom? Mom? There's also this really annoying narrator who feels obliged to come up with little pieces of wisdom here and there, which feel like they were written by a five-year-old. Vacation time. People travel east, west, north or south. What? Anyways, this film is absolute ass, and if you thought that this was a joke, I'm not even trying to be funny. For some reason, the cameraman kept focusing on filming different asses throughout the whole movie. Like, why? Bottom line, there are so many other things that I could say about this piece of crap, but I'll end this review by just stating that The Beast of Yucca Flats is an absolutely worthless and incompetent film, if you can even call it a film. It's only 54 minutes long, but it feels like an eternity. I can't believe that it was actually being sold on eBay for over $12. This movie doesn't even deserve to be given out for free. Who would honestly pay for this pile of steamy shit? I'm in complete awe. What an awful movie.